Hey everybody, it's Cindy Matalucci, your host of The Pulse and live with Cindy. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving with your family. I hope you survived all the rain that was crazy. We were on the roads, but I hope you guys were grateful for everything. We had a great time and you know, it's all about the holidays right now. So we've got, I think, uh, four weeks, a little bit less than four weeks until Christmas, which is pretty crazy. So basically the next few shows for you guys, we have dedicated to taking the stress out of the holidays. So I'm really, really excited. Before I tell you about those shows, I wanna shout out to Coffee Ambassador, who is our sponsor for the show. They keep us caffeinated, all of our guests here, all of our staff, coffee delivery at its finest, located in Sorrento Valley. So thank you guys so much for being our sponsor. Okay, so we know how stressful the holidays can be, right? You guys have to figure out what you're gonna wear, what you're gonna cook, what cocktails you're gonna make at the party, what to buy. Well, we've got you covered. So the next few Fridays are all dedicated to taking the stress out of the holidays. So next week, I've got Sandra Voom. I'm so excited for her. She styles so many fabulous people. She's also a personal stylist in Fashion Valley, but she's with Mariposa Style, and she's gonna bring out looks that you can wear to every event that you've got. We're gonna make sure that you know what to wear, and then also, she's gonna tell you what to have in your closet so that all year long, you have looks to go to those fabulous events that you can feel your best. So Sandra will be here next week. We're so, so excited about that. And then, you know about gifts, right? What do you buy, everybody? It's so stressful. What am I gonna get this person and that person? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. I've got my holiday gift guide, which is curated by moi. It's the must-have products for everybody on your list. I'm gonna be showcasing everything in studio, and that will be next Friday, and then that will actually air on December 12th on our TV show on Channel 4. So that will also be um, airing, so really excited about that. So it'll be live next week, and then you will see those products again on the TV show, Channel 4, and that will be on the 12th at 4 p.m. Okay, so as you can see, I've got this amazing <laughs> spread in front of me. I want to eat everything. My guest today is Lynette James from Etouffee Cafe. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm better now that you're here. <laughs> Proper breakfast. I'm so excited. So Lynette and I have known each other for a while. We're in the same networking group. We've done events together. She's made food for us. I absolutely love her. So I'm so excited for her today to talk to you a little bit about what she does and share her story. So before we talk about what you brought today, let's talk about your story and how you got to where you are today. Well, it's kind of like an Anna Karenina story. It's like a novel like this thick. So we'll try to do it in six minutes or less. (laughs) But um, when I was in my 20s, my first husband passed away of cancer. And when you're in your 20s, you think, oh, this is just a fluke thing. But as you get older and you start having sedentary jobs and kids and eating fast food that are in sports, you're like, hmm, maybe there is a thing to this chemicals we're eating, things that aren't very good for us, gaining weight. And just losing weight isn't just what we need to do. We need to have our bodies functioning. So started doing a lot of done yoga and learning about the chakras and how actually food affects our chakras and not only the food, the attitude we have while we're making our food. So that's why our, our tagline is high vibrational cuisine smothered in love because we make sure that we're in a good mood and we have our heart chakras open while we're preparing the food and we put all our love in the food. I love that and she does, she really does. I can tell you she's got the passion. So when you studied those chakras, because I know that was a passion for you, can you just maybe tell people a little bit about eating for the chakras or just kind of touch on it? You know, everybody has their own um, philosophy on that. You know, mm-hmm. some some websites will say, oh, it's the color of the food. Some websites will say for like the nuts, that's like our root chakra. Um, I go by what does your body tell you? Because we have all these food diets out there, keto, paleo, plant-based. You can't keep, I can't keep track of them <laughs> all. So what I like to do is sit down with my clients and go, what makes you feel good? What makes you give, what gives you energy? What doesn't drag you down? So when you're eating and taking in your nutrients, you have to see how it feels for you. So if your throat chakra is blocked, you feel like you're not being heard, sit down, yep. have a meal and find out what's gonna help open that. Well, and what I love about you is you can really prepare food for people that have food allergies or they have special restrictions because you've done that for us a lot, which we love. Mm-hmm. So let's talk a little bit about that because you're making healthy food. So you're mm-hmm. making healthier versions of. And it's really, it's really easy. Okay. I mean, we have been conditioned since World War II to put crap in our food. Sorry, but the that's GMO what we have. All, all this manufactured stuff to make the meals elongate because nobody had money. You know, we had the depression. So we there was all these things created to help stretch our dollar out. 
now that our society has changed, there's other things that we can do. There's more farms out there. Um, chickpeas is one of them. And a lot of people have dairy allergies, so instead of having a ranch dip with your vegetable tray, have a hummus. I love that, and, and she really lives and breathes this too because she came to, we did an event here, and she was like, do you have an oven? And I was like, I don't think the oven works. And she's like, I'm not using a microwave. I was like, well, I have a microwave. She's like, oh no, I am not microwaving my food. So she really does live and breathe it, and I can attest to that. So I brought my oven. You did. That she, was your point. Yeah, she brought her oven. She's like, I'll bring, I brought my oven, I'll use that. So, okay, so let's talk about what we have today because this is amazing. So let's look at what you brought. Okay, well, we'll talk about the devil on the table. This is a bread pudding. So if you don't have any dairy or gluten allergies, this is a really great bread pudding that we do. And we sell at our pop-ups at the breweries because if you're at the brewery, you really don't, <laughs> nine times out of 10, you're not caring what you're eating. So, but you're happy and you're there and you're gonna be happy and we're gonna make you happier. But this is still food. a healthy, I mean- It is. I mean, like for you have everything in little. Mm -hmm. The bread is actually made uh, by us. It's, it's actually a challah bread pudding. So it's a special Jewish bread that my family made. And since they can't eat it anymore, they gave it to, they donated it to us to make a bread pudding out of. Oh, I love that. So, and then of course the eggs and the milk that we use in it is from um, sustainable farms. I love that. With the that. no GMOs in it. Yum, and then what, what do we have here? So we have two different types of panna cottas. They're, um, I like putting things in a smaller portion cup because you know we don't need to eat the whole pie on the one night, folks. <laughs> well, and this, no, yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to, go for it, but you don't feel like it. So a panna cotta is an Italian custard with no egg, and we actually use agar, so we make it vegetarian and vegan free. What you're holding there, that's our vegan panna cotta. It's made oh, with coconut milk. So good pineapple mm. and mango with toasted coconut wow. and literally just a sprinkle of the sugar in the top just to make when we heat that up the topping up to give it a juice and make it a little syrupy but and we use the vegan sugar so it's not over sugared it's guiltless it's guiltless. it is guiltless yes i love that <laughs> And I think it's a half a point on the Weight Watchers scale. So if you're following the Weight Watchers. That's amazing. Yeah. And then this one is the. He'll be two points because he's made with heavy whipping cream. This okay. is our strawberry lemon one with whipping, heavy whipping cream and um, macerated strawberries. Mm. And, but still, we don't, we don't use a lot of sugar in it. Just a sprinkle in it to help macerate the strawberries. Well, and I love the portion sizes. I think that's really, really important that, you know, you can have your taste, have a little bit, you mm -hmm. don't have to eat it all. So what else do you have? So um, we have our a classic deviled eggs that everybody loves. And you're known loves. for that, I think. Yes, because <laughs> I partner with a company that uh, sells mustards from Germany. So they're non-GMO, they're all natural. And we put them in our deviled eggs. And today we actually brought orange and poppy mustard deviled eggs. So they're a little bit on the sweeter side. So it's like you can change it up. You don't have to do the same old thing over and over again. Well, and what I think is so great is you can really customize everything for a client. Mm -hmm. So it's like we're talking about the vegan options and everything in here, but you can put together a specific menu for them. Yes. Which is really great, and you're so good at that. Thank you. Yeah, yes. so what do we what do we have here? So this, this is just healthy. our classic veggie tray. Like, I just wanted to show an example how pretty you can make it. Um, don't just slap your vegetables on a tray. We have some radish um, greens underneath just to help give it a little vibrance and energy into the vegetables. And then we actually roast our own nuts. We oh, can wow. buy raw nuts and then we roast them in uh, coconut oil with the Himalayan pink salt. So, because the ones you buy in the store are usually made with the canola oil because it's cheaper. And Which they're is doing not, it in not good. No, it's not the best <laughs> for you. And then um, my favorite, because um, also Christmas is coming up, but Hanukkah is coming up. So we have, uh, I was brought up in a multi-religious family, so they have latke parties. Oh. So, and a latke is like a hash brown, but has egg and a little bit of powder, uh, flour in it, but we use potato flour to make it gluten-free. <sighs> And traditionally, they are served with either sour cream or applesauce. Okay. And I have cram. I made a cranberry applesauce instead to make it prettier. It's so to pretty. get the red. It looks so good. Okay, what are these? Are these red? Those. Carrots? Those are carrots. Those are, are so cool. rainbow. Those are organic rainbow carrots. I love that. It's such a pretty spread. Thank you. It looks so good. Okay, so, so let's talk about some stuff that you do, right? Because mm -hmm. the holidays are coming up. Tell us a little bit about the services that you provide 
for your clients? So the services we provide for our clients is we do anything from dinners to two to big parties, but the beauty of it is you get to pick the menu. We're going to sit down and talk about what is it that you want to project to your cli either your clients for a Christmas party or um, a retreat. We've been doing a lot of retreats lately. Um, the dinner for twos. We also do pop-ups, like I said, out of breweries. We'll talk about the dinner for two because we were just so, talking about that. That's mm -hmm. unique. Yeah, so we will go to your house and cook a dinner for two. You get to be present with your partner or dinner for four, you know. Israel, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so, and then you get to drink all your wine there. You don't have to go drive anywhere. You get to stay at home dry. I get all wet. I bring everything to you. You serve. I do the dishes. It's like I'm a kitchen ninja. That's like a perfect and, gift. Yeah, and then you guys get to be present and enjoy each other and then don't have to drive. And so you can drink the whole bottle of wine if you want to. That sounds good to me, right up my alley. Well, and it's so great, too, because for my women's networking group, she does a specific menu, and then the women can pick, like, the, the menu, and she brings down everything to the events, which is so great. Um, you're so great to work with. What's your favorite thing that you do, would you say? I do like the, the retreats. Okay. And um, so we just did a retreat for, like, nine or ten people. So it was, it was fun because then you get to make a relationship. It's not just about... Give me your business. You get to form relationships with people, mm -hmm. and then they they'll call you back, and then you get to like do all these sorts of these different menus. And lately, we're having a lot of fun with Moroccan food. So Ooh, you know, we're investing in a lot of tangines. And the beauty about it is, is there's no there's nothing bad in it, and it's like it makes a gravy all on its own instead of adding cornstarch or flour. I'm just like, well, how the heck did that happen? I like <laughs> it, and we're gonna do a lot more of that because it's really makes the meat tender and it gives you a nice thick gravy. So great, and she does delivery too, so that's mm -hmm. the beautiful thing. So, okay, so tell us about some events you have coming up, because I think you're doing some events. Yeah, so our Small Business Saturday tomorrow, we will be at the Black Plague Brewery and we'll do, be doing a pop-up with all the the bad favorites. We do a badass bacon macaroni and cheese Yum. and a damn good macaroni and cheese. And then we're also gonna have some chicken jambalaya and um, our challah bread pudding there. Um, as well as, because I have to have something for everything, we have this uh, real, really wonderful arugula quinoa salad oh. that is vegan. So if the vegans wander through, we have something for them, which I'm like, if you're not vegan, you can't have it because <laughs> they want it all. But everybody wants it. That's what but happens everybody is I bring like, the gluten-free dishes and people eat the food. They eat it. Right. It's because it's stuff. natural. And it's like it's not loaded with really bad stuff. And there, you know, the, there's two bands there tomorrow night. Um, the first band is teenage kids getting their break in music. It's really lovely. It's a really lovely place to go. So if you don't make it down tomorrow, you should. It's up in Vista. It's called Black Plague Brewery. And then on the 11th, we're doing a vintner's tasting um, up at a Levenhain Town Hall. We're providing the food for that. And you come and you buy a ticket and you get to uh, taste all the wine these vintners make that aren't available for purchase. So it's like it's their hobby and this is their what they love to do, they love to share their wine with everybody. And you can buy tickets at the door. I love and that. And we'll have information up on our social media. On the website today. and everything. Okay, mm -hmm. so how people can book you at the A2 Fake Cafe on wheels.com, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it's yes. actually the hyphen A2 hyphen Cafe. Okay. We're in the process of changing that. Okay, so we'll have, all, we'll have all the links on the site for okay. you. We'll share that. And if you guys have questions for Lynette on food or tips or what you want to do, let us know. We'll put you guys in touch because we just love everything that you're doing. <laughs> we you. love I her. love you too. We love her food. <laughs> so um, book her. I'm telling you guys, you, you won't be sorry. I've used her, and I can't wait to see everything that you're coming up with for our menus for next year for yes. Elite Networking too. All right, you guys, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to show you a quick commercial, and then when we come back, we're going to burn off everything that we're eating here with Mark Shane from Shape Up Studios. Are you ready? Okay, we'll see you. Thanks, Lynette. Thank you, Cindy. Hi, this is Lisa and welcome to Be Boutique. We're a little slice of heaven in Little Italy. And sorry guys, no pizza sold here. But for you boutique lovers, we have an amazing selection of clothing, jewelry, gifts, cards, accessories, you name it, we have it here. 
and it's all, it's unique and affordable. And we have a great selection of gifts for all your holiday needs. Um, for that discerning diva in your life that has everything, come here, we'll hook you up with cashmere scarves, gloves, we'll even box it with a bow and add in a bottle of Prosecco. We have some great gratitude gifts for all those on your list that you want to thank. Little adorable card cases, candles, Christmas ornaments, jewelry, all affordable and fun. This year, come to Be Boutique and we'll have your holiday shopping wrapped up, ready to go and boxed with a bow. We're at 1501 India Street on the corner of India and Beach, the south side of Little Italy. I can't wait to holiday shop with you and show you all the wonderful things we have. Start at your toes here, okay? Come on out. That's what I'm saying. Take your time. And once you get right here, keep your arms straight and drop your hips down. Drop your hips down, pop them down, push them back up. Come right back up. Take your time, take your time. Touch your toes. Come on in. Stand up. Now, we're going to do nine more. Let's go. Come on, walk it out, walk it out. Both legs. There we go. Now come up. That's five. Move from this side right here. There we go. Yep. At six, get your pace a little bit for me there. Drop. There we go. At seven, so breathe in, breathe out. That's eight, breathe in, breathe out. That's nine, breathe in, breathe out. Your shoulder bring back a little more. Right and get your chest right above. Now go. Now go. Now walk it in. And continue. Breathe out now. That's three. Good. Stand up. That's four. Go. One. Up. Out. Hey everybody, it's Cindy Madalucci. I'm your host for The Pulse. I did a quick change room in record time because I'm gonna get my workout on with the one and the only Mark Shane Malone Absolutely. from Shape Up Studios. How are you? I am awesome today. Thank you for asking though. Good, it's always so good to have you here. <laughs> Love being here. So you guys know that you know we've been showing my transformation, my journey on social media and everything that I've been doing to lose weight. And yep. I've been so, so excited with everything that you've been doing with me. Yes. I mean, we've really been disciplined and focused, but I want to talk about, before we get started into the workout, your specialty, because it's really transformation. It's all about transformation. People need to be transformed. I want to take you from where you are now to where you really, truly want to be and where you were meant to be. So that's, that's what I'm all about. Yeah, I mean, weight loss, I mean, the stories and everybody that we see in the gym, like losing the weight and yeah. just being so happy. passionate happy. And yeah, happy. absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I really just love it. Okay, so I wanna just do, um, give you a heads up or, you know, give you guys a heads up of what I've, you know, gotten so far. So I lost six pounds in six weeks, yes. right? My body yes. fat went down 5%, which is super exciting. Awesome. I lost eight pounds of fat. I think that was the craziest thing. That was the craziest thing, yeah, exactly. That's what you did. You were <laughs> thinking a scale was gonna move a lot and it did move but yes. the actual fat moved more and that's what's more important right and so I was um, 96 pounds of lean muscle I went up to 99 pounds of yes. lean muscle so I was able to build, Show it, girl. build more muscle yes. oh yeah look at yes. those guns yes. look at those guns yes. 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 yes 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 yeah and more is coming and more is coming and so and I was getting really caught up on the weight and he was like don't be so caught up on the weight I mean I am dropping the weight but it was more of like my inches I lost yeah. inches throughout everything your composition is changing everything is changing want. absolutely and, and what I love is it's always you know something he mixes it up every time and it's always different. Never know. We never know what we're going to get. So, okay, so real quick before we do our workout, what does it take to get results? 
Consistency, to be honest with you. Dedication, consistency, and just staying with it. Don't give up. People give up before the magic even happens. Let the magic simmer. Let it percolate. Let it boil, and it will come, but you've got to be consistent. Every day, day by day, little each day, but keep moving forward and don't give up. That's what it takes. Okay. Bottom line. All right, so let's do some moves today. Let's do some moves. Because we, we want to be fit, right? You ate your Thanksgiving dinner, so now we're going to burn it off. So what are we going to do today? Making a band, but no P. Diddy here, okay? Okay. Just me. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take this band. I want you to put both feet in it. Okay. And you can pick these up at Big Five. Any of the local fitness stores will have them. Now, we're going to do what I call a front wide press. Okay. So thumbs go in here. Okay. Just like so. Now, we're going to rock your arms out. Okay. Lock your arms out. And just lift straight up in front. Yep. And as you come down with control, you can feel your core engaged. So we work in the front delts here, as well as those medial delts. So this is a great shoulder exercise, great core exercise. I'd say 10 to 15 of these, nice and slow on the way down. And you can do these anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere, park, hospital, work, wherever, kitchen. In between your break. Yes. And we're well, gonna stop with that one right that. there. Okay, now we're gonna transition into a compound movement. So keep the band in your hand. Now we're gonna sit back into a squat. Okay. And then when you come up, you're just going to press it overhead. Once again, now we're getting top of the shoulders here. Wow. Who doesn't want good shoulders, Cindy? Oh, my Who gosh. Who doesn't want good shoulders? And I'm seeing definition yes. of the shoulders now. I'm loving it. And I would say 10 to 15 of these as well, right? Oh, yeah. Nice this and slow good. control. Easy peasy, right? And Starting to feel that a little bit. Right? Breathe out as you come up. Breathe in as you come down. Very simple. Let's do two more of these, and we're going to move into the next move. That's one. I feel it. Do you feel it? I feel ah, it. And Super. one. Good. Now let's step out of the band here, okay? Now we're going to transition into a deadlift. So put both feet on. Okay. Right in the middle, just like so. So, like yep. this. Grab it just like that. Grab those loops. Yep. Step okay. on it. Go ahead and stand up straight for me here. Now we're going to do a deadlift. So we're going to work the back of the legs. Extend your hips back. Feel your hamstring there. Yep. Come up and go right into a shrug. Pull your shoulders up. Straight up. And then back down. Okay. And then do it again. Very simple. Bend your knees a little less. Oh, I focus see. Focus more on the back of your legs and pull up with your shoulders. Okay. And then back down. Hips go back. Deadlift. There we go. Once again, do it anywhere, anytime, any place. So these are like full body. Full body. Yep. Let's do two more of these here. Hamstrings. Come up. Go right for those shoulders. One more. Yes. Very functional movement. Now let's go for your back. Okay. So lean over here. Yep. Okay. And we're going to go right into a row. So just pull it up, squeeze your... Wow, I can't believe you can do all this yes. with these bands. We didn't even, didn't even don't stop even moving. don't even need weights. I'm, swe I'm sweating. I know. My Are butt's on fire. <laughs> just like that. Just a nice little easy pull for your back. And squeeze how much does this blades. band weigh? This is a 10 to 15 pound band here. Okay. Yep, just like that. Let's do two more of these here. Two and one. Good. Now, let's go ahead and stand up. Take the band just like so. And we didn't practice this either. We did not. This is not choreographed. I okay. cannot dance. Everybody knows that. <laughs> now, let's go behind the head here. Okay. Now, this one's called a good morning. Oh, so, we're going to dress your low back and your glutes again. So, just keep your back flat and just bend forward like so. Yep. Feel your lower back and your hamstrings come up. So, no knees bend. No knees bend. Just push your hips back. Yep. Come straight up. So, what is this working This like? is work your lower back, hitting your lower back. And if you come up, squeeze your glutes right there. Yep. And then do it again. Perfect. Just your lower back. These are called good mornings here. So like how Let's long do would more. you do these extra, like these extra I would exercises? do 15, 15 reps each, go three rounds. Okay. Shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes, 20 minutes max, and you will be on fire. Let's do one I more here. I bands yesterday after my turkey. And relax. Let's take the band off here now. The next move we're going to get into is going to be, we're going to go squat here, and then just push your arms straight out to the side. Oh. Yep. Okay. Squat again. Just push straight out to the side. Never getting your back here. So squeeze those shoulder blades back there. One more. Getting caught up there. I think of my mic. One more. Just like that. Perfect. Wow. Now, a couple more movements we're going to do here. Grab the band here. Now, we're just going to curl, hammer curl up, press out, in, and curl back down. I do 10 to 15 of these here. And I am getting the sweat on. Me too. I love it. Don't you like being sweaty? I like sweat. It's going to turn to a wet t-shirt contest here in a second. <sighs> it's, yeah, I yeah, know, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> Let's do two more here. Ooh, one last one. Woo. And two. Good. That's Last movement. Let's work your chest, okay? So okay. Round your back here. Just like so. Think push-up. Okay. Chest press. And just push it out. And then back in. And then push out. And back in. Just like a push-up. Oh, you can't get low on the ground for a push-up. Grab a band. 
I've never done this before. Yeah, you can get smaller bands too if you want a little more resistance. But easy way of doing a push-up without getting on the ground. So the people who say they can't do push-ups, I don't want to hear it. Right here. Here we go. He tries to make me here do mine go. on my knees and I get mad. Exactly. And that's a simple routine. That's great. Now I'll give these to you, you can put them on your website. But anybody that's looking to get started, get you a light band, very simple movements, very functional movement. Those are movements that anyone can do at almost any fitness level. Okay. If you want more challenging, um, if you want to be more challenging, do more reps. Less challenging, do less reps. But I would say if you start now, do about five, 10 reps per exercise. Well, and I like that you customize everything for everyone. I mean, that's right. really important for people to know. So when they come in, if they do want to meet with you, because yes. he does offer a free consult, free consult and a free workout to yes. our viewers, which we are really excited about. And we have that on the website. Um, and, and you'll be a regular on our show, which is great. Giving tips because you're so passionate yes. about you know, helping people. It's all about people loving each other. And if I can love people through fitness, that's my love to the world. So come get it. Come get it. Come go, go <laughs> see him and hit us up if you, you know, get, you that love get, hug. That, get that love hug. If you want the consult and, um, you know, to, to train with Mark Shane, I love it. I'm seeing great results. I'm so excited about everything. I love your passion yes. for what you do. And I think it's just really important. Like you're saying, get up, move, move. you know, that's Simple. all you have to do. And then eat when you're done. And then we're going to eat when exactly. we're done. And then it's shapeupstudios.com. .com, absolutely. Yep, to, yep. to get more information on Mark Shane. And then we'll be, you know, bringing you on more often. So exactly. we can't wait to have you on again. So thank you. Great team. I feel great. Get it done, people. Yay. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. I love hugs. Oh, there we go. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. That's going to do it for today's episode. We're going to see you next time when we put our finger on the pulse of San Diego. And next week is my gift guide. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you. I see you guys.